Hi, it's Coach Natalie Joe. Today I want to tell you about the Take Shape for Life Food Journal using bits of information from Dr. Anderson's Discover Your Optimal Health book. According to Dr. Anderson, journaling is a powerfully useful tool because it gives you a great reference point for your progress. Journaling helps you to express and unload emotions by writing them down instead of responding to emotions in unhealthy ways. Dr. A also talks about mindfulness. Obsessing about the past and worrying about the future keeps us from paying attention to what's most important, the present. Stay focused on being mindful of this one very moment. In the quest to help create optimal health, it's important to appreciate the mind-body connection. Dr. A is talking about the simple fact that everything you see and hear and taste and feel and smell and think about has a direct effect on your body. What you're putting in your mind affects the stress levels and chemistry of your body. What you put in your body can affect the mind. By becoming aware when you are drifting off into unhealthy decisions, you can improve your self-management. Then Dr. A says one of the most important keys to creating long-term health is raising your level of self-awareness and mindfulness. The perfect way to do this is to write it down and track what you are doing in your own journal. There are many ways in this day and age to journal, but today I'd like to show you the Take Shape for Life journal. First, let's go over to my website and see where you can actually order your journal. Go to the website www.nataliejo.tsfl.com. Go to the top and touch Shop TSFL. Then on the left, Shop Now. Scroll down to Support Materials, then Program Guides. Up at the top, click View All on the right. And the very last thing on the page, scroll down, is My TSFL Food Journal. It's priced at only a dollar, and each journal is for four weeks. So just put one in your shopping cart each month when you place your food order. Or order several so you have them on hand and you don't forget. We suggest that on the inside cover, you put a picture of you your before picture. And I hope you don't like it because it'll be more inspiring to you to make a change. Under your picture, write down your commitment to yourself, what you want to accomplish with this program. For further details on what to write in your journal, listen to this recording that I sent out of a letter that Dr. A sent me on Halloween. Let's open up our journal. Here's the welcome page. Welcome. What could be one of the most important tools for weight loss? Tracking your meals in your new 5-in-1 food journal. It will keep you mindful and help you stay on plan every day. And remember, every page you fill here is another step toward a healthier you. If you prefer to track online, register at mytsfl.com. Please read your quick start guide before using this journal. Become yourself. First you fill in your starting weight, then you put in your measurements, chest, waist, hips, thighs. I also measured my upper arm. Fill in your starting BMI. If you need to look that up, you can find it online on my website or anywhere online you can look up a BMI chart. Next you want to fill in, if this is not your first journal, then you're going to put that number in your um, weight from your last journal and then um, in the far right column you're going to add and subtract your weight losses. Then week one you fill in the date and your weigh in the difference and then the total and you continue to do that. Down at the bottom would be your ending weight for this journal, the four weeks, and then your measurements again and your ending BMI and then you just transfer those numbers to your next journal for the next four weeks. Then on page two, we have the five-in-one plan. Each day, you'll fill out half this sheet of paper with everything that you eat. They recommend you put in the times you eat each meal. So in the Medifast meals, when it says one, you put in when you ate breakfast, and then three hours later, the time that you ate your next meal, so on and so forth. 
They also have places for you to mark your lean and green meals to make sure you get all of those in correctly, your healthy fats, your condiments, and if you choose to have the optional snack. Also very important is to get all of your water in. Eight, eight ounce glasses is a bare minimum. Half your weight in ounces is better. And then they want you to log your exercise, write down what you did and for how long you did it. And then those pages go on until you get all four weeks filled in. And at the back of the book, starting on page 16, they have a reference for you for your lean and green meals to make good choices and the amounts of your portions. On page 17 is your healthy fat servings, your lean and green options, and the amounts that you are allowed for those. On page 18 is some more information about the extras, extra optional snacks, um, the flavor infusers, and your condiments, and how to count those and what they count as. A good rule of thumb for a condiment is that one condiment should have no more than one carb and you are not to have more than three condiments per day. So that's it. That's the Take Shape for Life journal. I recommend everyone use it. And like in that um, recording that I have from that letter of Dr. A, he even suggests you write down more things in your journal than that. So you might want an extra little book to have on hand too, to keep track of your feelings, something that triggers you to eat, help you learn more about yourself. It's very important. By writing it down, you're more mindful of what's going on. You're taking the time to pay attention and it's going to help you in the long run. So I really highly suggest that everyone starts journaling. Thank you and have a great week.